Hey, what's up guys? It's Brain Bean here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Now today you'll notice we're doing something a little bit different than my classic scripted style. We're doing something a little bit more off the cuff and doing a video this way, it's a lot easier for me to get content out quicker. So if you like these style of videos, I may start alternating doing some of my more scripted videos and then more videos like this. Now the result of that is gonna be more content out there per week for you guys. So let me know what you think about that down in the comments. So today we're gonna be taking a look at tactile clicky switches and I have four different ones in front of me. We're gonna be talking about them and comparing them a little bit. Now I have the classic Cherry MX Blue. This is in a Thermaltake Mecha Pro keyboard. I have the newly overhauled Razer Green Switch. This is in a Razer Black Widow X. I have the Altimu Blues in a First Player Fire Rose. And then I have some no-name Chinese knockoff switches. And these are in a Tomoko i500. And basically what we're gonna be doing today is talking about the specs, uh, talk about how the switches feel, and also compare the price versus the actual overall quality of the switches. Okay, so the first thing I wanna start out with is just talk a little bit about the switches specs. So the Cherry MX Blue switch has an actuation force of 50 grams. It has a actuation distance of 2.2 millimeters and a total travel distance of four millimeters. Now the Razer Green switch is kind of geared to be more gamery than the Cherry MX Blue, and basically all they did was they still have the 50 grams actuation force, and they slightly shortened the actuation distance, which is how long the switch needs to actuate, by 0.3 millimeters, so it's 1.9 millimeters to actuate the Razer Green switch. Now moving over to the Altimu Blues, these are advertised as being at 50 grams actuation force, um, and they basically copy the Cherry MX Blue switch and have the same actuation and travel distance. One thing that's important to note, though, is these switches do feel a little bit heavier than 50 grams than they say. And I'd say they're probably somewhere more like 55 to 60 grams. So that's something just to keep in mind uh, in terms of the comparison. Now going over to these switches, I don't even know who makes them. They're unlabeled, no name switches. And I just thought it would be interesting to compare them to some of these other branded switches. Uh, so I don't really have concrete specs for you, but I can tell you they do feel about uh, somewhere around 55 uh, to 60 grams, kind of like the Altimus, um, but they're a little bit chunkier. Okay, so going off that, let's go ahead and just talk about how they actually feel and perform. So starting with the Cherry MX Blue Switch, I have this in a Thermaltake Mecha Pro. If I just type on it a little bit, the Cherry MX Blue Switch is just a really light feeling tactile clicky switch. It's nice and solid feeling. There's really not a lot of wobble in the keys. They're very solid. And that's one thing about Cherry Switches that I've always liked is that there's just there, there's not a lot of key wobble to them and they just have a really, really solid actuation. Now, if you compare this with the Razer Green Switch that I have over here, you can even actually hear a little bit of a difference in that lightness of the click of the blue switch that I'm talking about. And these are a little bit higher pitch versus a little bit lower pitch in the Razer Switch. Now, the Razer Green Switch, compared to the Cherry MX Blue, is a lot snappier. And so, by that I mean the actuation the bump that you feel in the tactile bump is a snappier feeling and you even feel that in the clicky mechanism that's in there too because the, the click in the cherry switch is, is a lot quieter and it's like a nice little little quiet click versus this snappy feeling and sound of the Razer Green switch. So if you like a lot clickier feeling switch, you'll probably like the Razer Green more. Now the Razer Green does have more wobble to it than the Cherry MX Blue does by quite a large margin they're they're very wobbly so that's something to take into account too but as far as the actual clicky mechanism i like the mechanism on the razor green switch more now coming over to the altimu blue switch like i said these feel a little bit heavier and they're kind of in between the feeling of the cherry mx blue and the razor green in that they're a little bit snappier feeling than the cherry mx blue switch but they also have this sort of like crunchiness to them and I've always said that Altimu switches are by far the best budget switches that I've ever used. You know, you're going to spend $40 for this Altimu keyboard versus about $100 for this Cherry MX keyboard and about $150 for this Razer keyboard. So price, of course, is going to be something relative that you're going to need to consider when you're looking at all these keyboards. But just with that in mind, the Altimu Blues for 40 bucks are a fantastic buy. And then going over to these no-name switches, they're... A noticeable difference between all the other ones and I kind of to use a word I used earlier they're very crunchy feeling um, they're very snappy a very harsh tactile bump and it's just overall not the best experience and I would always recommend going with a brand that you know if you want to stay on the cheap 
go with Altimu. I've personally used all four of the main types of Altimu switches, so your blues, browns, blacks, and reds, and they've all performed a lot better than I thought, at least after I used the first two switches, and then I kind of expected good things from them, so I wasn't as surprised, but they just function really, really well, and they get very close to the quality that you get from cherry switches at about half the price, if not more. But I think the main ones that you guys are going to want to know about are the Cherry MX Blues versus the Razor Greens. Uh, and in this sense, I think I have to give it to the Razor Green switch. And the reason for that, even though it does have a little bit more key wobble, is that overall it's just a much nicer typing experience. It's a nice clicky, snappy feeling without being too crunchy. Um, and the blues are just, they're just a little too light for my taste. And Cherry, you know, it's no secret they've been having issues with the Cherry MX Blue switch over the last couple of years which is why you haven't seen it on a lot of the bigger brand gaming keyboards. That's why Corsair doesn't have it on the K95 Platinum. Uh, just because, for whatever reason, Cherry has run into some issues with them. I think they're resolved now, but there was a dry period there where you couldn't get Cherry MX Blue switches on a lot of keyboards. And for some reason, I don't know if there was a QC issue or something, but they just were having issues with it. So if you guys are looking at purchasing a clicky tactile keyboard, I think right now the way to go is to go with something with the newly overhauled Razer Green Switch. So I'm talking about the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 and the Black Widow X. And if you're looking for something a lot cheaper, the Altimu Blues are also very good as well. Now I'm also going to do a quick sound test back to back of all the keyboards so that you guys can take a listen to them and kind of see how they sound all together. Now that you've heard how the switches sound, I just wanted to kind of do a comparison for you guys of all these different types of clicky switches to kind of help you decide which one you should get. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments down below what you think about this new style of video for me and also let me know which style of clicky switch you guys thought was the best. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to see you subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming for you guys in the near future. And if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Brainbean Gaming just to stay up to date with what's going on here on my channel. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.